Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exozier's content. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the unique passives of all the generals, the skill synergy with other heroes, tips on how to use their passives efficiently. Before that, if you want to see more Exozier's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, we will start off with Dorka. So Dorka's passive or unique passive is Soul Bond. Grants allies with less attack than self with soul bond mark and heals 30% of missing health every turn. So reduces magic damage taken by 30%. So for her passive, this is very good because it heals your team um, every turn. Um, and um, it, it replenishes health and it synergizes with two of your lieutenants or two of her lieutenants, namely Naomi for her passive as well which is rigid body and it synergizes also with Kylock here with his absorbed soul for his passive as well so for Dorka you have to make sure that her passive only activates if your attack stat is higher than your team's Attack, attack stat meaning uh, for the individual heroes that are in your team she should have the highest attack stat of them all um, if you miss out on at least one that hero won't be healed at all next we have Jinai so Jinai's um, unique passive is charm so afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with charm mark and decreases their attack speed by 30 so the two other lieutenants that um, have synergy with Janai is the other one. The first one is Jin, which which synergizes Charm with her with his S1 and his S2. So the other one would be Shell. Shell, on the other hand, only synergizes with Charm for her S2. So try to try to see if you can synergize them both on a team with Janai. So for Janai, also take note that her passive triggers when she has the most or the highest uh, attack stat versus the enemy. So you have to make sure that uh, that Janai has has the highest stat as much as possible for attack because you won't be sure on which enemy is is or has a lower attack stat than her the next would be shufraken so shufraken's passive is or unique passive is fear of the abyss so adds fear of the abyss mark to enemies with defense lower than you if targets have 10 percent or less health at the end of turn deal 65 damage to all enemies in the same row so for this passive this has been a big uh, big improve big factor in pvp for the last few months and sometimes he is being paired with his two his two other lieutenants namely valentina because she uses it for she uses the combo of fear the beast with her s1 and also with her s2 so the next uh, lieutenant that he has um, is Ramji. So Ramji is also being used in PvP while having the combo for Fear the Beast with his S1 and also with his S2. So again, to take note for Shufraken, his unique passive triggers with increased defense uh, versus the enemy's defense. So again, because this is compared with the enemy's defense, please make sure that Shufraken's defense has been modified as high as you can because you, you really don't know how much defense your enemy has. The next would be Bathory. I think Bathory's uh, unique passive is one of the most unique and the most, uh, most important of all the passives. Um, she has been she has been very good in PvP matches since the start of, of the release of the game globally. So her her unique passive is tranquil. 
So grants allies with less attack than self with tranquil mark and protects from death one time. So this basically gives your team another chance at not being dying. So the two other heroes or lieutenants that have synergy with her which gives which also boosts their capabilities are number one is Rera. So Rera give gets an additional damage for Tranquil for her S1 and her S2 skill. And for Ulum, Ulum has a unique uh, skill gained when he has Tranquil. So he destroys the enemy's guardian stones three times at random when he has Tranquil, as well as is S2, so S1 and S2. So for Bathory to trigger her her passive um, she also has to have an increased attack versus versus her team so she you should be able to you should make sure that that she has the highest attack stat of all the members of the team for this to trigger otherwise you'll be missing one and they would be one-shotted if uh, an enemy attacks them our next would be Rachel. So Rachel's um, unique passive is Disheartened. So afflicts enemy with lower attack than self with Disheartened mark and decreases their dodge by 50 and defense by 20%. This is also good um, in, in our current uh, meta in terms of PvP because Rachel's usage has increased with the, with the arrival of Janai's FC. And, F and also her involvement in, in PvP. So the two other lieutenants that have synergy for, for Rachel is Baraka. The other one is the first one is Baraka. So Baraka has a synergy on his S1, which steals mana, and also in his S2. The other is Siakan which also has a synergy for, for or a combo with 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 Rachel's unique passive in his S1 and his S2. Okay. One thing to note again with with Rachel, so his attack should be his attack stat should be higher than the enemy this time. So he, for them to be disheartened uh, Rachel has to be the highest or has to have the highest attack stat of your enemies. Our final general which uh, has a unique passive is Garf. So Garf is uh, or has command so grants allies with lower maximum health than self with the command mark and increases defense slash health by 20%. So the two lieutenants that have synergy with Garf is the first one is Redley. So Redley's um, combo with the unique passive Garf is in his S1 and in his S2, which gives additional health to him and to uh, to another ally's mark with command. The second hero, which is his lieutenant, is Valar. So Valar as well has a, a combo with, his, with, with, with the unique passive of Garp for his S1 and with, with his S2 skill as well. So the, the, the thing to note about Garp is that you should have, he should have the highest HP versus your own team. So you should be able to check this out in the stats. Uh, and try to achieve the highest HP for Garf so that all of his allies will have the command mark. So as you can see, I have all the generals in my screen. Um, what I'm missing here is Rachel because he's the sixth man for this team. Anyway, just, just a couple of tips uh, before we end this video. So be careful when you have multiple generals in one team. Um, one example is uh, when you have Dorka and you have Bathory on your team because all of their um, triggers for their passive is increased attack versus team. 
So if you prioritize increased attack with Dorka uh, and she has the highest stat, Bathory won't give her Tranquil. And for Bathory, if Bathory has the increased attack, Dorka won't be able to heal her. So there's a trade-off when both of them are in your team. Um, one passive won't be applied to the other because I'm sure they won't have uh, the same attack stat. So that's one. The other one is when your generals die, the marks don't, don't disappear. So it still, it still is being applied to your team or to the enemy team, whichever general you have. So also a, a one small tip is make sure that um, you try to maximize each stat indicated per general uh, because it, you won't be able to maximize his passive if you don't. Um, the best way to maximize stats is eventually to awaken each of your generals um, and probably tweak some of the equipment and enhancements and fusion um, if they have fate cores. And also, um, the synergy with their unique passive is not limited to their lieutenants. For example, for Bathory, she synergizes her unique passive with some of the rats. I don't know if I could call them rats, but just to have an example, um, she synergizes with the, the Underwalkers. These are rats. So they can also destroy Guardian Stones if they have Tranquil. So try to check out some of um, the heroes which have synergies with these generals. You could probably level them up and probably have a specialized team. Like for example, Bathory, which, has, which you can create a specialized team uh, just to break Guardian Stones and to clear uh, PvP content in, as a result. Anyway guys, that concludes my video. So if you have any any comments and suggestions or any any disagreements with with what with what I discussed, please put them in the comments below. You all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.